Hello everyone and welcome! Hello from VoiceOver Sammy. What we will need for painting our fish chime is paint brushes, any kind of acrylic paint, old plastic bowl, old plastic cup filled with water, and Mod Podge. I'm just going to go through the supplies that we need one more time. These are the paint brushes that I have. We won't need to use all of those. And I'm just going to show you here the different types of acrylic paints that I have. You can use any type of acrylic paints that you want to. I also have this little container of paint by number acrylics. So see, you can use whatever paints that you'd like. These are my most expensive acrylic paints. You don't need the most expensive. That's okay. I have a plastic lid to put my paints on. And this is the bowl that I'll put the Mod Podge in. And this is the cup that I put my water in. This is the Mod Podge that I use. I use the high gloss. Okay, I have all my supplies laying out here. I'm gonna be using silver acrylic and my paint by number blue. I'm just gonna pour this out here. It is actually very, very thin. So I'm gonna have to shake it up a little bit and then pour it out some more. So that's what I'm going to do right now. I'm putting the lid back on and then I'm going to shake it up a little bit and then pour it back out. But it is very thin. Uh, if you have some silver, you might have to add a little bit of water to it, but not this much. It's pretty thin. I'd like to have it a little thicker, but that's okay. I'm just going to grab my blue acrylic, blue acrylic paint, sorry about that, and pour it on here. And then I'm just grabbing another brush here to apply paint later. So I'm just going to get that paint brush there. And then I'm going to start painting. I'm just showing you the two paint brushes that I have here. And I'm grabbing that paint brush and I'm going to apply the silver paint to it here. I'm just going to apply that silver paint to the entire surface of the head, the scales, and the fin. And I want to make sure to apply that as much as possible so I can get that nice silver color. So I'm going to play some music here so we can enjoy that while we're painting the silver.
going to grab this other paintbrush here and I'm going to dip it in that blue paint. I want to make sure to put a lot of this blue paint on here. And then I'm going to take the tip of it and splatter that paint on there. I'm going to pull back on that paintbrush with the paint and you will have to get more paint and do this again and again and just keep flicking that paint onto the surface. You need to put this all over the surface here and just keep splattering that paint. It gives a really, really nice effect. And you can use any type of paints that you'd like instead of silver and blue. You can use whatever type of paint color that you would like. So I'm just gonna keep applying this paint until I believe it looks really good. And so I'm just gonna keep flicking that onto the surface of the fish here. I'm just gonna keep re-dipping that paintbrush and flicking it again and again. And until it looks the way that I would like it. And you can keep doing this as much as you like it. Don't forget to turn over that tail fin and put splatter paint on the other side as well. So I think this looks good. And I'm going to wipe off my finger there because I've got it really dirty and put my paint brush aside. And then I'm gonna show you the tail fin here and what that splatter paint looks like. Okay, Mod Podge time. We have the Mod Podge already put in our small bowl. And I have my paintbrush and I'm going to put the Mod Podge on to the surface here. We're just going to keep applying this Mod Podge onto the surface. We're just going to smooth that on there. We, want, we don't want it too thick. And I'll show you here about how much you should be putting it on. And we need to make sure, I'll show you here in a second with this tail fin, that we don't want to get this Mod Podge into the holes that we have created because it could clog those holes up and we won't be able to put our string through it later on. So that's what we need to do with that. And I'm just gonna keep applying this to the entire surface of the tail fin and to the scales and to the head of the fish. And I'm just gonna go ahead and play some music here so we can enjoy that while we're working.
just going to show you this tail fin here and how shiny the Mod Podge actually makes it look. It's not quite dry yet, but it's really shiny. Looks really good. See you next time. Bye!